guys, what is up? Today I bring to you the Negan statue from McFarlane Toys and also the artist Todd McFarlane. Now here's a look at the art box, um, which I think they did a great job on. It's nice and glossy, uh, has an effect of blood on it. And this statue was a pain in the butt to find, uh, to order. Um, yeah, I had it on pre-order from a vendor. They canceled on me even though it was a pre-order. So I had to actually get this at a local comic book shop. So here it is uh, set up in my Besta. Um, as you can see, uh, it measures about 17 inches tall, so it should have no problem uh, for, display for being displayed in the IKEA Besta. It's also uh, made of uh, cold cast resin, and it was fairly easy to put together. There's only 1,000 of these pieces made, so I'm pretty sure this, this will be a hard one to find because the other statues, like Rick, and Michonne were about 1500 uh, edition size. So if you look at the bottom here, the, the, the zombies on the bottom here just look amazing, uh, very detailed, very gruesome, um, and just what you expect from McFarlane. Also the fact that they're touching the leg and he's stepping over them, I mean I think it looks fantastic. Alright, and so here we look at some of these photos I took, and here's the front of the statue. Uh, that shows the 621 of a thousand and here is the base again the attention to detail is fantastic um, I'm not even sure how many zombies are on there but every time I look I find a new one like this guy this guy here uh, was hiding and I was like whoa <laughs> uh, that kind of caught me off guard but it's really really cool and this guy was fantastic his eyes sticking out he looks disgusting uh, everything you want in a Walking Dead statue. And this guy. Brain showing. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I, I really love this statue. Now here we're looking at the upper half of the statue. And you can see that this one comes out comes with a, a severed head. And there's actually a switch out hand that just has a closed fist. But, you know, why would I use that? You know, I don't know. And you can also see Lucille... Um, which is the bat right there as well in his left hand. As we get a closer look, uh, you can see the detail is, is very nice on the head sculpt. Um, I see no issues with color and uh, sculpt. And the severed head itself looks amazing. I really love it. It's very creepy. <laughs> it looks crazy. Uh, I really love it. And uh, the blood and gore just just beautiful absolutely gorgeous so the, in these next series of photos I wanted to show the detail of the uh, severed head uh, with the spinal cord which looks rad um, then followed by a closer shot of Negan's head sculpt then the combination of both of them together So here's uh, Negan next to the other statues, which is Michonne and Rick. Um, if you don't have these, I highly recommend you you, you go after these. Um, these have addition size, again, of 1,500. Negan is 1,000. Uh, these might be a little easier to come by. But as you can see, they look great as far as size. And then here's Negan with uh, some of the Walking Dead 10-inch figures. So in the end, would I recommend this statue? Well, my answer is definitely a yes. It is definitely worth the money. It's definitely worth the space in your collection, especially if you're a Walking Dead fan, especially if you have the other statues in your collection. This one's a no-brainer. Also, because it's only a thousand of them made, uh, it's going to be a little harder to come by, especially compared to Rick and Michonne. So in the end, I definitely recommend uh, you guys get the Negan statue. Well, that's my review for the Negan statue from McFarlane Toys. Hope you guys really enjoyed that. Um, I should have another video review coming out soon. Um, don't know exactly when, but I have slowed down. Um, so, uh, until next time, I'll probably give you another uh, uh, update in, uh, let's see, in June, uh, which coincidentally is my birthday, uh, June 1st. So, 
Anyway, hope everyone's doing well. I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.